Hey guys, it's Ben from the Big BC Finance channel here and today we're going to be talking about Ethereum. I've already made a video on Bitcoin explaining the massive drop that we saw and where we could potentially be heading and now I'm going to do the same for Ethereum. The two are very, very similar in this circumstance here. Basically with Bitcoin, we identified a rising wedge. Now a rising wedge is a bearish sign and it's formed when there's two channels, a resistance and a support, sorry, a two levels, a resistance and a support, and the channel thins and thins. And it goes in a bullish direction, but what results typically is a large price move downwards when the price action breaks through the level of support on the rising wedge and that's exactly what we've seen of course with bitcoin it is a little bit cleaner you can see that the price dropped below this level a little bit so for the support you can see we got one strong one there we've got one strong one here we've got one strong support there and it got tested there as well and as you can see on this last bit over here we saw the price crash through this level of support and all the way down to the 1,500, 1,600 level there. In fact, over the past month, there has been this rising wedge and just a few days ago, it broke down through this rising wedge and we saw massive price action underneath. And that's exactly what Investopedia says as well with a rising wedge, as soon as the price breaks through it, it tends to be very, very quick as in the price drops down to a target level very, very quick. And in this case, it dropped down to 1,530. Now, if we go into a smaller time frame to see what's happening in the short term, we can see this pattern happening here. And I know there's a lot of lines, so I do apologize for that. It looks a bit messy. Let's get rid of this one here. And let's just get rid of some of these as lines and drawings. You can see that now our price of Ethereum is all the way down here. If we go onto the one hour time frame just to get a bit more data here, you can see that we have this downwards slope, this very, very fast downwards slope, and it's come to around 1520 before it's gone back up again. Now, of course, for BTC, the price action has been similar, but I've noticed that there has been a pattern forming. I'm just going to show you this for completeness so you know what's going on. I think that we have seen a double bottom pattern here. So a double bottom is where there are two peaks that hit a similar price level. And in this case, this price level for BTC was 20,800. And now along with the double bottom, there's also a neckline, as you can see. So there's a level here that the price drops underneath goes to the peak, goes back up to this level, goes down to the peak again, and then goes to this level and then breaks through the level. Sorry, that's not a very straight line, so it's not as clear, but you can still see that if if this was the level here, the straight level, you can see that the price does break above it. And so I do believe that this is a bullish reversal that we're seeing here. So we could see the price go up on BTC. Now, if we go back to Ethereum, we can see here that we've got a peak here so we could be seeing a similar double bottom pattern um which would make sense because if btc is going to go up then typically ethereum will follow that price but what we could also be seeing is a head and shoulders pattern so if we draw a line here for example i think this level here could be a potential neckline for a head and shoulders pattern now, a head and shoulders pattern looks something like this. So there's a head, which is going to be the largest peak. Um, in this case, the largest trough. Uh, and there's going to be two shoulders, which are smaller troughs uh, on either side of this very large one here. So we've got one shoulder here. And what we could, if we do have another kind of shoulder looking thing here, then we could have a head and shoulders pattern. And the implication for a head and shoulders pattern would be the same as a double bottom. And that is a bullish reversal. And we could see the price of Ethereum go back up. So I'll just show you by drawing it in so you can see what could potentially happen. So I do think we could see something like this, um, an upside down head and shoulders pattern. And then if this pattern clears, if Ethereum price action prints this pattern and what we can see what we could potentially see is the price going all the way up like this and if I just draw this over here we could actually see the price pump all the way 7.6 percent all the way to the 1800 mark so if the price does something like this then we'd expect it to break past the neckline and then to 
that level there and that would be really really awesome so i could see this happening um of course given the macro economic environment the inflation is really high and everything like that i would don't expect Ethereum to pump too fast again. What could also happen is that the price could continue going down. And of course, if the price continues going down, then we could see it drop all the way down to this large support level here. And that large support level is at around the 1,300 mark. I do think this scenario may be more likely just because, you know, Ethereum is fairly correlated to the stock market. The stock market's overheated right now. The S&P has pumped, what was it, like 20, 30 percent since its June lows. So the stock market looks like it's due for a correction. And if the stock market is going down, then typically cryptos are going to be going down as well. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, all those cryptocurrencies are going to be heading down. So I think what is more likely in this case is that if this pattern prints, this head and shoulders pattern, we can see it pump, you know, to around $1,800. And from there, then we'd see a crash happen as the stock market cools off as well. But also potentially likely is Ethereum to keep going up. And if it does continue to go up, then we could see it could see happen is Ethereum go back up potentially to these highs at 20 $2,070. So we could potentially see the price doing this. We can also see it go down and down and down. Some levels to potentially look out for as well. If we just draw the fib on there, you can see that there are going to be some levels of resistance and support, potentially at these prices that you see on the left as well. Basically, the 0 0.5 fib kind of supports this head and shoulders theory here. You can see that that's at 1,773. So if the head and shoulders does completes then we're going to see the price go up to that level around here and yeah just some key levels to look out for 1713 1639 if we do drop and if we do go up then we do have to clear a few levels of resistance before hitting $2,070 there. So just a quick update on Ethereum, guys. Um, basically, I just think that we're seeing this head and shoulders pattern. And if it is true, then we can expect the price to go towards 1,800. But of course, be prepared to see Ethereum continue to go down just as the stock market may be cooling off this following week as well. So that's it from me, really. That's all, just a quick update video. Uh, thank you again for watching. If you did like this video, hit the subscribe for me and of course if you have any criticism if you have any anything you want to say then be sure to comment as well but yeah thank you and i'll see you in the next video guys